In this video, I'm going to talk about how to open up RVTs, container files, system families, project files, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to show you how to open those in the Revit add-in. So one of, the, one of the unique things about Avail is that you can actually dig down into those files and view them and drag out data without even needing to open the actual file. We do all of that right within the Revit add-in. So I'm going to click on this RVT file in the Revit, in the Avail desktop, rather. And it's going to load it in the Revit add-in. And we're going to tab out all the families, views, sheets, schedules, groups, and parameters. Now we're going to make all this searchable. So if I wanted to search for all the doors in this RVT, I can do that. And if I wanted to drag that door out into my current project, I don't have to open up that RVT file in order to do that. And just dig down into it right here within the add-in. Same goes for views and sheets. You can drag an entire sheet out of here if you wanted, or you can drill down into one of these sheets and drag out a particular drafting view. And it puts you right in place of mode, just like that door. So these two are in tether mode right now. So the desktop is open while I have the Revit add-in open. So you can search for your files over here on the desktop, but you can also shut down the desktop and launch this in what we call standalone mode. And I can again, click on that RVT and it's gonna load it within a veil in standalone mode. And I'm going to swap that, Let's drag that over, and very same experience. I'm looking for doors. I just drag one of those doors out into my design. So this is what the Revit add-in looks like in standalone mode. Um, so if I wanted to go you know, to another channel here, I'll show you this real quickly. Then I've got all my tags and filters down here, and I can just search this stuff. So that's how you dig into RVTs, and that's a little bit on how you know the Revit add-in works with the desktop and in standalone mode. So thanks for watching.